our next guest was snapped to dust by Thanos, brought back to life by time travel, and now she is stuffed into our TV sets alongside Paul Bettany in the highly anticipated new show from Marvel. WandaVision premieres a week from Friday on Disney+. Plus. Please welcome Elizabeth Olsen. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. You're in <laughs> London, huh? I am. I'm, um, I'm in London, and it's, it's, it's pretty late here. And, oh, it is, uh, right. Sorry about yeah, that. I hope, I'm, um, I hope I'm properly caffeinated to do this. <laughs> so they just, last night, didn't they close everything down in London? A, a very restrictive lockdown? Yeah, it's the second lockdown I've experienced in three months in London. What does it mean over there? Does it mean you you can't leave the house or uh, is it just a matter of not being able to go to work? What are the rules? I I think what it really means is that people can't buy alcohol from pubs and walk around and socialize <laughs> because like I don't no one's really listening to anything anyway here. Is that <laughs> like, right? Truly people just like don't wear masks outside and anywhere that people can gather with a with like a takeaway pint they do. And so I think they're just taking away the liquor. And and everything else is more or less the same of not being able to mix with other households. It's funny that that happens like four or five days after New Year's Eve. It seemed like maybe a week earlier would have made more sense. Were people gathering and celebrating there? Yeah. I mean, the parks yeah. in the morning when you go on a walk, like all the trash bins are just overflowing with poppers and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to a party or did you play no. it safe? You did not. No. I mean, I'm a very safe player of like all games. I follow all the rules and um I I was home uh with my with my with my man Robbie and uh we set an alarm to make sure we didn't miss midnight and uh <laughs> and I actually I put on a dress. It was really exciting. <laughs> so the alarm the idea was if you fell asleep you'd wake back up and toast at midnight. I don't even know what the point was. I think just <laughs> to make it to midnight. I there have been fireworks going off since bonfire night, which is a holiday here in November. And oh. so they're just like always fireworks. So there there are a lot of fireworks at midnight. Do they have like a British Ryan Seacrest over there with a, a ball coming down, or is that just the thing we do? They might. I don't have cable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, I don't know. I think you know that, well, I'm a comic book nerd, so I'm one of the many who are very excited about the show, WandaVision, and I, <laughs> you know, we work for Disney, ABC is part yeah. of Disney, Marvel is part of Disney, so they were kind enough to not give me a screener, an advanced screening of yeah. the show. Yeah. <laughs> so I really, I don't know anything more than anybody else does. Can you say anything? Can you tell us anything that hasn't already uh, been revealed? No. No, okay. I mean, you know that. But I think I can say it's uh, Wanda and Vision living their suburban sitcom dreams. Yes. And and some of them are set in the 50s, and they progress along decade to decade. Is that yes, correct? We cover, yes. We cover all of American sitcoms starting with the 50s, a la Dick Van Dyke, and we progress until the aughts. And there's a reason for it. It's not. It's not just um, a fun trick we do, mm -hmm. and um, we try to film each episode kind of as authentically as we could to each decade. And in the '50s, we filmed in front of a live studio audience and filled with so many NDAs. And we just—it huh. was really strange and fun, and had practical special effects on strings. And the whole thing was just—it was so silly and so much fun. It seems like fun. We have a clip that has not been seen. And so I don't know, have you seen this clip? I've seen a lot of the show. Okay. All right. Let's I take a look. <laughs> Pretend to be surprised. Here we go. This is Wanda. Okay. <laughs> what was that? On that. Yes, dear. Are you using your powers to turn on the light? Yes, dear. Allow me, sweetheart. What do you see? Only your lovely rose bushes. That's all? 
Are you using your night vision, Vision? I assure you, my love, I see nothing amiss. You have absolutely no reason to be... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you were saying? I like that. That's fun. I yeah, mean, that, like, is our, gotta... that is our 60s Bewitched episode. Oh, okay. All right. The beds look very Dick Van Dyke show. And then you got a little hint of Bewitched in there as well. Yes. I like that. Now, you know, there are a lot of theories uh, floating around online as to what the show is, and I want to run a couple of by you. I know you can't confirm or deny, but I thought maybe we could get a read from you. Here's one. Vision's tie is a clue. Now, let's zoom in on Vision's tie. There are two dots inside the rectangle on his tie, and then two dots on the outside. And I guess the idea is that your characters are trapped inside uh, something, and also on the outside, where you either can't get in or can't get out. Any of that ring a bell? The thing is, is all of all of these Easter eggs, even if they were real, they would go way above my head. So okay. I have. No <laughs> what about the idea that this wine bottle? Now it's a Maison de Mupri, Mupri. I don't know how to speak French, but it translates to House of Misery which could be saying that the series is based on the popular comic House of M in which Wanda has a breakdown and there's a lot of weirdness going on. Our prop guy, Russell, would be very a very clever man if he put that in. So no then, interesting. All right, what about this one? Wanda bears a striking resemblance to these actors who played the role of Michelle Tanner on a sitcom from the 90s called Full House, which would mean <laughs> Uncle Joey is about to join the MCU. Yes or no? That would be incredible. <laughs> it is very meta, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is very meta, yeah. It's like you got swallowed by a TiVo or something. Well, I can't wait to see it. Um, and so you're different. over there shooting the new Doctor Strange movie or not shooting it right now. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't say anything about that either. Wow, what a thing. What a little prison. <laughs> I know. It's really it's really strange. I'm in this just like a white wall behind me. And I'm I don't know. This whole thing is so odd. But um yes, I I we we were um since the hospitals are overwhelmed here, we can't go back to work until that um calms down. That's so our I'm, deal here too. Yeah. Yeah. So just um safely hanging out here and really grateful I gotta be working. Um Disney's kept me busy during quarantine. Right. Well, nice. stay safe. WandaVision premieres a week from Friday on Disney Plus. Elizabeth Olson, everybody. Thanks, Elizabeth. We'll be right back with Young Blood. Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> this is ridiculous.